Hi, I'm Catherine and I used to be in facts on choices and I am now just finished my second year of A-levels and I'm going off to uni. I've been asked to talk to you guys about how I went from being a gibbering wreck basically to <laughs> being able to complete my A-levels and go somewhere that's three hours away from home. So. I dropped out of high school. I had really, really bad anxiety, depression, panic attacks. It was great fun. And I went to a pupil referral unit. So when I came to college, I wasn't really ready for big crowds of people and the kind of hustle and bustle of college. I started in applied science and within two days I just I dropped out, I couldn't cope, I couldn't manage and I then went on to Choices. So when I started Choices I really really struggled. I I was so scared. I didn't speak to any of the teachers. I sat at the back of the class and just prayed no one would speak to me. And that was when I was actually in the class. Most of the time, for particularly the first couple of weeks, I spent it in the ALZ, in a corner, refusing to talk to people, headphones in, just like watching the clock till I could go home. I was honestly just terrified of coming in. And I didn't think I would get any better than that. And I thought, I've come in, that's all that's ever going to happen, that's all they're going to have. That is what it is. But that wasn't what happened. The teachers, so Nikki, Kate, Maureen, everybody, they were so supportive and understood that some days the best thing to do was to just leave me alone to my own devices and let me cope in my own ways. But then other days, they knew to challenge me. They knew to push me. They knew to say, just try being in class for five minutes. Try being in for 10 minutes. Try being in for 20 minutes. Try being in for the whole lesson. And gradually, I was able to be in the whole lesson, all the lessons, every day. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. I then didn't think I'd be able to go into an English class to reset my GCSE. And in January, I had support from the whole team. I went into the class. I started engaging in the class. I reset my GCSE and I did it. I then was very uncomfortable speaking in front of big groups of people. And big groups of people, for me, was anyone I didn't know. I could be in a room with two people, not know one person, that'd be it, I'd be gone. But Nikki pushed me. She asked me to stand up and explain something that I'd done to a class of other choices students, because as I'm sure you guys have seen, there's multiple different classes within the division and the courses. I explained an interview that I'd done for young carers. I was terrified. But I was pushed because the teachers believed that I could do it. I didn't believe I could do it. I didn't think I could do it. But they knew I could do it. And they supported me to do it. So at the end of the year, I was doing pretty good. I was used to college. I could go to the refectory and order my own food, which was a massive, massive, massive challenge when it first started. I could do that and I was ready to move on and I wanted to do A-levels. So we had a meeting and the team down here set up the same amazing support that I had had in facts into A-levels. I had support in my classes. I was allowed to just leave without asking the teacher if I felt I needed five minutes. That support never left me. Even though I was in a different division, I could always come back to facts and say, 
I ain't doing so good. They were always there to support me and it was never a straight line of everything's great and it's just getting better and better and better. There were several wobbles. There were several times in my first year that I thought I can't come back. I'm too anxious. But I always came back because I knew I had that support. I knew I had someone to talk to. I knew that the teachers here understood. I remember in, it was just before my, my sociology exam in my AS and I came down to fax, knocked on the staff room door and I said to Nikki and Libby, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't breathe. I was having a panic attack. They got me into a classroom. I was literally sat on the floor crying saying, I can't do this. And they sat on the floor with me and said, yes, you can. You can do this. You can do this. And I went and I did it because they knew I could do it. Even when I didn't believe I could do it, again, they knew I could do it, but they knew I needed that little bit of extra support and that little push to get there because the team, the team in facts is just so dedicated to every student's success. And they understand that success for one person can be just turning up to college and sitting in an ALZ. They understand that success is different and small steps are still massive deals to everyone. And it was thanks to that support that I was able to actually finish my AS le levels and then go into A2 and be able to do these exams without many wobbles at all. And I'm now going to uni, which when I was in referral school or even just when I started Choices, I didn't think it was possible for me to go to a different corridor, a different course in college. But they knew that I had that potential and that ability and they see that potential in every single person to succeed and go where they want to be. They understand that there's bumps and things that get in the way, but they will always be there to support you to get through it, even when it's rough, even if you're sat on the floor crying, having a panic attack, they will sit on the floor with you, look you in the eye and say, you can do it. Because they believe that every single student can do it. And they know that. And the whole team understands that there's things that are going on. So it may be mental health, it may be your social life, it may be your family life, it may be all three, it may be two. It could be anything. But they will always support you to make sure that those things don't get in the way of you doing what you want to do. They understand that this is just a a little weird place where things aren't going as great as maybe you want them to but they will always help you to get to where you want to be so yeah that was just my story so yeah good luck I hope everyone just succeeds and get to where they want to be even if it's just going into class and sitting in a class for 10 minutes that is success that is a success, it is a personal success, and the teachers will celebrate that with you. So yeah, good luck, bye.